Today, I'll show you how to crochet a braided pattern out of puffy alizé without any tools. It's easy to crochet, basically like all patterns made out of this thread. The pattern consists of identical stitches. And this thread allows you to easily crochet different types of items without any tools like needles or hooks. This pattern is called braided. And with the help of this pattern, you can create blankets, pillows, you could do cardigans, vests, maybe a hat, scarf, or any others. Follow the link in the description and grab your step-by-step -step guide on how to earn your first $1,700 crocheting by tomorrow with the help of my own crochet techniques. All right, let's begin. I'll mention again that this is a braided pattern. As an example, let's take 12 straight loops. Counted 12. Two edge stitches and we use the remaining 10 for the pattern. So, we tie edges, simply the following loop on the working thread we insert inside. Next, we need to twist the thread so that it's comfortable for us. Put the working thread over your loops. The angle of the braid you can decide for yourself. It can be angled left or right. You will put loops together based on your angle. If we're crocheting a braid angled right, then our left loops will go above the right, like this. And then our braid will turn out angled right. Or you could do it angled left, up to you, but the pattern will be different. My example piece is angled right. But if you want, you can make it angled left. So, we take the left loop and place it over our right loop. And if we count, then we're putting the 8th over 9th. And from the working thread, we don't twist anything. Insert them in their order. All the stitches must lay flat for this pattern because there are patterns that require us to twist loops and it will be a completely different pattern. In this case, we hold the loops straight. All right, the following loops go over the same way. And the loops out of our working thread, we insert through the bottom and we end up with these crisscross loops. Cross them, and the loops on the working thread we insert through the loops which we've counted. And we continue like this till the end. Make sure your loops don't twist, otherwise it will be a different pattern. I'll show you the different pattern in the following videos. And we crisscross two more loops. Insert working thread loops through them. And we have an edge stitch left. 
you could actually go without the edge stitch and instead crisscross them right away. You need to understand that there has to be an even number of stitches. But in case you're doing edge stitching, let's say for a cardigan, then it'll be easier to connect the details. Again, insert the edge stitch as our facing stitch. And the second row will have to see which way the stitches are twisted, which direction. We want this braid to be angled right, then we again crisscross left onto right. Now tie the working thread stitches the same, inserting them at the bottom, and move on. Don't mix it up, the loops will be laying flat right over left by the pattern. But you have to lay it correct, not to mix anything up. Need to go left over right. Working thread can also be laid out in a way that you can see all your loops and don't miss out on any. Because you could easily skip a loop. And in that case, you'll have to undo the whole piece. You gotta pay attention and be accurate. We insert through the bottom again. And we continue like this till the end. Working thread loops pass through the bottom. And as you see, the pattern is easy to crochet. Most important is to be aware of details. And with the help in this pattern, you can make lots of various and useful pieces. The name of this thread, Alize, is common, but can be very different. Lots of companies these days release this type of thread with ready loops, which allow crocheting without hooks. Look here, on the reverse side, you can tell we haven't missed any loops. While crocheting row 1 and 2, try to turn over and check for possible missed loops. Let's crochet one more row. Again, let's put the working thread over in a way that's comfortable. Insert the reverse side as a basic facing loop. And then again, carefully place at in a right angle when putting left loop over right. We tie them together accurately with precision. When we make way from left to right, we tie the top loop first. First few rows you make might take time to get used to and watch where you place the loops. And the following rows you get used to and begin crocheting faster. But most important, don't miss an open stitch. Crisscross and tie through. Crochet the edge stitch with a facing loop. Here we are with a braided pattern, or however you may call it. This is how the model looks as a crocheted product. How do we secure with this pattern? I'll demonstrate how to close the stitches. 
Generally speaking, closing stitches is identical with all patterns. Working thread stays on the left if we begin closing from right to left. So we begin securing from the opposite side of where our working thread lies. And we simply insert every coming loop into the previous. We get a straight row like this, which is also easy to be turned into various products, like a blanket. Or if it's a vest, then the shoulders or sides will depend on your imagination and how you lay out your pattern. So we go fast and easy for closing out the stitches. Next, we make a cut. I have a video where I show how to secure your finished rows. Cut the thread and simply tie it to avoid loosening. A more detailed breakdown and other crochet options can be found in my catalog below this video. Crochet various pieces of this thread with joy.